Welcome everyone to the property show North Special. I'm Manisha Natarajan. This show is just for you. Your budget, our data backed advice to help you make the right choice when it comes to making the biggest decision of your life, which is buying a home. With me in the studio is Dhruv Khanna, Assistant Vice President at Prop Equity, to advise you when you call in with your questions. Hapless home buyers of the abandoned project JP Amon take to the streets to demand action against the company as it fails to deliver both these budget home projects, Amon 1 and 2. These are the last few, adding to the list of over 30,000 buyers already stuck. And it's not surprising that on social media, one of the most trending and buzzing tweets have become those on delayed projects and erring developers. Buyers have taken to this powerful form of protest, but will this media come to the rescue of strapped buyers? Well, several buyers are totally fed up of waiting and have decided to take legal action as well, despite the fact that RERA has been notified. In our legal corner, we address some of the key legal remedies. Also on the show, we will do what we do best, that is find out some quality projects for you. In Gurgaon, we will start with projects under a budget of 90 lakh rupees. Also, homes in promising destinations from Mohali at 50 lakhs. Quality projects from reputed developers in Greater Faridabad comes up next. Budget here would be a crore. And emerging sectors of Central Noida to be covered for homes under 90 lakh rupees. Meanwhile, what has really happened? It's been a big week for the home buyers across the country. On 1st May, the Real Estate Regulation and Development Act, or RERA, 2016 has been notified and states have been given a deadline of one year to form the Real Estate Regulatory Authority and Appellate Tribunal. For thousands of home buyers stuck in delayed real estate projects, this is bound to come as a huge relief. This law could finally help bring justice to them and for the rest of the industry bring in accountability and transparency. To counter the developer's argument that they cannot be held responsible for all delays, the Ministry of Urban Development has announced bringing all construction-related procedures and approvals online by May end starting with Delhi. It is imperative that all cities now also adopt this single window clearance to revive the real estate industry is the take of the property show. All right, those were just some of the protesters you've seen. Now, one of the biggest culprits responsible for the erosion of buyer confidence in National Capital Region, we all know, is the JP Group. The company has left over 35,000 flat owners in the lurch with no respite from anywhere, hapless buyers of JP Aman. And this was actually promised as an affordable project for just the mid-income, the mid-mid-income group of India. Now, they've taken finally their fight to the streets and are demanding stringent action against the developer. Remember, these homes were priced between 25 to 30 lakh rupees. Hassled and harassed with the delays and no response from the company, home buyers of JP Aman 1 and 2 staged a protest outside this abandoned project site. These buyers booked their flats in 2009 and are waiting for possession since then. I was told by 2012 we will be getting the possession. Entire payment has been made with the interest. Actually now we are almost all the buyers are facing right now because EMI you are paying a huge EMI and rent. This too per month 30 to 40,000 you have to put from your pocket is too hard to now survive. As per situation, I cannot see that we will get the flat before 2020. 4,500 buyers have invested their hard-earned savings in JP Aman 1 and 2 project. Launched in 2009, Aman 1 was to be handed over to the buyers by 2012. Four years later, all you see are these incomplete structures. Uh, JP was supposed to be a very renowned and very reliable uh, developer. That is why we booked this flat. I booked it for my mother who has retired and is waiting for her flat. Over 40 projects of JP Group in Delhi and CR alone are running behind schedule with average delays at about 3 to 4 years. In a template response to NDTV questions, JP Group said, and I quote, as is known, there are delays in handover of apartments. JP Group has issued a possession letter to approx 5,000 units in Wishtown, Noida. Company is making full throttle efforts despite downturn in economy to meet all its obligations, including completing all balance units. And I unquote. For a company which got land for free, along with rights to build the Yamuna Expressway, the question remains, where is the money collected from the home buyers? Buyers are feeling absolutely cheated with no response of any sorts from the builder's office. For the JP Group reeling under 75,000 crore rupees of debt, a hapless buyer is of no importance. 
until a regulator is in place there is no end to his or her misery chanakya patia for ndtv okay here's mr pranjal chavan mrs pranjal chavan pardon me on the phone line she's looking to buy a home in greater noida and we are just hoping that with all our research we can help her buy the right one mrs pranjal go ahead hello uh, i'm looking for three bhk flat in greater noida around parichok area and i have shortlisted paid two projects ats dolce and purvanchal royal city so oh i seek your opinion on these two projects and you also can suggest me other suitable options i can wait for, for another 12 15 months for position all right i think that was mr pranjal on the phone line uh, go ahead what do you think i mean ats uh, should he go ahead with that project and are there other options See, ATS is obviously one of the best developers in the region. Uh, they've got a very good uh, delivery track record, and ATS Dolce is one of the best projects in the area. So definitely a go-ahead from us. If we look at the micro-market figures, uh, uh, inventory overhang in region around Parichok is about 35 months. Weighted average price is 3,450 rupees a square foot, and this is growing at about 5% per annum. The project he was talking about, ATS Dolce, is by ATS Developers in Sector Zeta One. This project uh, will be delivered in 2018. It is priced at about 4,250 rupees a square foot. It is located near the Paramount Golf Forest Township. It's about six kilometers from Pari Chowk, and has good connectivity to Noida through the Dadri Road, which is about two and a half kilometers from here. Uh, there are two other projects we would recommend uh, for him. Uh, the one is Gor Atulyam by Gorsons India. This is an Omicron one. Price is between twenty four hundred to twenty eight hundred rupees a square foot. This project will be delivered in two thousand seventeen. It's about five kilometers from Pari Chowk, uh, located just off the Noida Greater Noida Link Road, um, and uh, this is the construction is in early stages at the moment. The other project you can look at is Ace Platinum by Ace Group. This is in Sector Zeta One. Price is three thousand six hundred rupees a square foot. Again, very close to Pari Chowk, about six six kilometers from there. This is a already delivered project. It's located on the main internal road which connects the project uh, to Dadri Road as well as Pari Chowk. All right, here's a quick summary of what you can look at. Uh... In Omicron and Zeta, Greater Noida, 60 lakh rupees. ATS uh, Dolce gets a go ahead, Mr. Pranjal, and Gor Atulyam and Ace Platinum are the other two projects that you can look at in your budget of 60 lakh rupees. All right, Aditya Singh on the phone line with us. Uh, Aditya, hi, welcome to the property show. Tell us how can we help you? Hello. Hi. So I need to buy a property for end use in Gurugram, sector 27. Okay. And I'm interested in like 3 BHK. Within mm-hmm. a budget of uh, 80 to 90 lakhs, please suggest good option for my end use. All right, I think New Gurugram would be the right location for him, uh, Dhruv. Yes, we've actually uh, looked at the southern peripheral road location for him. SPR. Okay. Uh, SPR. Uh, since sector 77 and the region around it is not the ideal location, it's uh, still in very early stages of infrastructure development. The social infrastructure is still far from developed in that area, uh, and the region we are looking at has uh, plenty of uh, new projects. And that's uh, and within his price points, we are able to suggest him a couple of options. So let's look at the. Sectors between Sona Road and NH8, the region I'm talking about. Inventory overhang here is about 30 months. Weighted average price is 6,100 rupees a square foot. This is a mid-segment market, growing at about 6% per annum. The first project we recommend for him here is Violet by Tulip Infrastructure. This is in sector 69. Price is about 5,400 rupees a square foot. This is almost completed project. You can buy it in the resale market. Will be delivered in 2016 itself. It's just off the Darbaripur Road and about one and a half kilometers from Sona Road. The second project you can look at is Aravil, which is a joint venture between Supertech and GPL. This is in sector 79. Price is between 4,800 to 5,000 rupees a square foot. This project will be delivered in 2017. uh this uh, we are particularly recommending because uh, uh, this has a backing of a zander private equity group which I is a private equity firm you, i mean are you going to recommend a super tech project so i'm glad you're qualifying that yes, bro yeah, that they, this has actually pe money which is yes. in the bank and therefore the likelihood yeah. of it getting completed is very high absolutely and the Fair land enough. is owned by a different developer super tech is only doing the development 
and the PE fund has invested close to about 300 crores in this project. Uh, the third project we are uh, going to recommend is Paras Irene by Paras Biltech. This is in sector 70A. Price is around 5,500 rupees a square foot. The internal work in this project is going on at the moment and is expected to be delivered end of 2016. Uh, this is a scenic view of the Aravli range. Uh, it's located on an internal road in sector 70A around 4.5 kilometers from Sona Road. Alright, so all these projects are actually, the ones that you've recommended are below the average market price. So average market price is about 6,000 6, and these yes. are actually tad below that. Yeah. So it also depends on where they are between that Sona Road and NH8, uh, you know, stretch. Okay, yeah. so those are the three projects in a budget of 80 to 90 lakhs. Gurgaon is the market that we were looking at. Kapil Mehrotra writes in and he says, I'm interested to buy a property in Noida and have selected Gore Sports Woods project in Noida sector 79 I have budget uh, I have a budget of 80 to 90 lakhs and shortlisted an 1850 square feet apartment of Gore sports wood project in Noida sector 79 let me know how this one is what do you think the huh? sector 79 area that he's chosen along with sector 150 is a low density region uh, this is uh, the allowed FAR here is about one and a half 1 1.5 as compared to two in other regions of Noida. So this is a mid to luxury uh, uh, segment area. And if we look at the micro market figures here as well, inventory overhang here is about 28 months. Weighted average price is 5,000 rupees a square foot. And this is growing at about 7.5% per annum. Now the Sportswood project that he's talking about by Gorsons India is a good project. He can go ahead with that. Sector 79 is the location. Price is around 4,000 rupees a square foot. This project is close to completion it will be delivered this year itself uh, this is in sector 79 like i said which is a designated recreational green zone under the noida master plan 2031 uh, it's got a 150 acre sports city planned within this sector as well the other two projects you can look at is mirabella by mahagun same sector price is 5300 rupees a square foot this project will be delivered in 2017 the construction is in mid stages and uh, possession is expected in September next year. The other project you can look at is Stadia by CBTEC, same sector, price is around 47 to 4800 rupees a square foot. This project will also be delivered in 2017. The project is located just off the internal sector road adjacent to the Mahago Mirabella project that we were talking about. All right, so the interesting, sector 79 you're saying is A low density plus yeah. it's got a huge uh, green zone under the Noida master plan. Yes. So it'll always remain a far more open area. So stick with this sector, sure. the project that you've chosen, <coughs> it gets a go ahead and there are other two that have been shortlisted in your budget. Ankit Nikam on the phone line with us. Ankit, hi, go ahead. Where are you looking for a house? Uh, uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm looking for a residential property in sector, eight for, uh, sector 86 Faridabad. Uh, on my uh, my budget is one crore. I'm looking for four plus one BHK, but I'm a little bit concerned as there are so many projects which have been stuck in midway and and the buy we are not getting position on time. So it is the right time I should invest or should I wait for the project to be completed? You know, I would actually say that. The closer it is to being completed, the better it is. A lot of people, like we just said in our top story on JP Aman, the project, actually the structures are ready, but the developers simply not finishing it. And finishing itself, Dhruv can take anywhere in normal circumstances, a year to two years, isn't it, right. for, for high high rise apartments. So here you have a situation where you may see a structure and say, hey, great, you know, I can buy into it. It looks like it's going to get completed. And you have no way of knowing whether it's going to get completed or not. That's true. Uh, absolutely. You need to be very, very careful. Uh, the best is to buy ready to move in uh, properties uh, definitely in this market. But if you must have uh, go for an under construction project or a nearing completion project, Make sure that, you know, the developer is good and the amenities, uh, you know, within the project are largely operational uh, when you actually take that decision. Uh, the project you've chosen, uh, we'll come to that, is a good project. Uh, you know, some of the towers have already been delivered in this project. So, we think it is a reasonably safe project to buy into. If we look at the micro market figures here as well, inventory overhang in Greater Faridabad is 14 months. Uh, weighted average price is 3,700 rupees a square foot and this is growing at about 6.5% per annum. 
So fairly reasonable figures in today's market scenario. Omex Heights is the project you were talking about by Omex Limited. This is in sector 86. Price is 4,000 rupees a square foot. Very close to the weighted average price. Like I said, 2 and 3 BHK towers in this particular project were handed over in 2013 itself. 4 BHK tower, the one that you're looking for, uh, are also in finishing stages and they're expected to be delivered within this year. Uh, uh, considering the location, amenities, uh, etc. are already operational, it's an already livable society, so you can definitely go ahead with this. There are two other projects we recommend for you within your budget, Puri Pranayam by Puri Constructions Limited. This is in sector 82-85 of the Greater Faridabad area. Price is 4,200 rupees a square foot. This is also a delivered project. It was delivered in 2013. This project is located very close to the BPTP bridge, which is about three kilometers from this particular project. The connecting roads are in reasonable condition. Not excellent, but fairly good. The other project you can look at is Savana by RPS Group. This is in sector 88. Price is 3,750 rupees a square foot. This is also a completed project, completed in 2015. The township is located three kilometers from the Khedi Bridge and Badkal Mode Metro Station and Old Faridabad Station are within a four kilometer range from this particular project. So the Puri Pranayam project that you've uh, recommended yes. is from the resale market. Savana is also Both available in the resale yes. market. And Omax is also available in the resale market. That's so true. essentially what we've told you sir is that buy something which is ready or almost ready. I think the OMAX project, is it completed or is it likely to get uh, delivered? Well, the two and three bedroom towers are completed. The okay. four bedroom towers are also very close to completion. So okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So all three, actually OMAX and Puri, both reasonably safe developers. Savana RPS Group, the project is in the resale. So really it doesn't matter. You can see the product in front of you. Well, when the going gets tough, the tough get going and these are some of the top companies in real estate that we are profiling in our new series Against All Odds. So do catch this Saturday, the episode which uh, captures the essence of l and Realty and tells you how this company has managed to retain buyer confidence. This company has thrived over three quarters of a century and is a benchmark for construction quality. l and has now reinvented itself into India's newest real estate leader, l and Realty. Watch Manisha Natarajan as she catches up with l and Realty CEO Srikant Joshi. They'll get the quality and they'll get what we show as a sample fact is what they will get. Polycap presents Against All Odds, Saturday 9.30 a.m. Only on NDTV Prime. All right, a lot more coming up on the other side. We're going to actually be taking up legal questions to tell you what your legal recourse is in case your project has been delayed. Take a look at this new project by Tata Housing on Dwarka Expressway in our project tracker. It's called La Vida.